Lake City's largest employer will remain in Lake City after a dispute over leasing terms has been averted. But a dispute over leasing terms over another property in Lake City has officials deciding if the continued cost of ownership is worth it. TV 20's Bert Sharon has this week's Columbia County report. Lake City's largest employer, Hayco, has decided to renew a lease agreement for at least another 20 years with two five-year extensions. Hayco, an international aerospace company that repairs commercial airliners, has leased a hangar at Lake City Gateway Airport for 30 years and had disagreed on lease renewal terms. The new yearly lease will double to $300,000 the first year. One thing is the amount may not be as high as some people think, but in the lease, there's a maintenance that they have to do, and they're doing quite a bit of improvement, so it actually raises the amount that we're actually getting from them. Lake City leaders are also debating about what to do with the Richardson Rec Center after Columbia County, which had leased the facility since 2009, backed out of the agreement. Lake City City Council meeting on Tuesday decided that they wanted to table the issue for now, and now the city of Lake City wants to know how much it's going to cost them to keep the Richardson Community Center in their portfolio if they decide to keep it at all. How many people is it going to take to operate it? Uh, what's the cost to us? and if the county is willing to negotiate something different. The Richardson Rec Center is a former high school. Lake City has been given a 90-day notice for when the county will leave the property and just maybe a last-minute agreement can salvage the rec center as in the Haco lease. In Lake City, Bersharon, TV 20 News.